One of the things that I think that sets Petra really apart from some of the other modern wonders of the world is the kind of build up and anticipation you get. There aren't many other things that sort of unveil themselves in the same manner and actually as you come round the seek, the very final part after about half an hour walking, suddenly you turn one corner and there it is in front of you and um, you know, you'd be hard pushed to find somebody whose jaw doesn't drop to the floor at that moment in time. Uh, in my mind, China is just an absolutely wonderful country and whenever anyone thinks about it, it will always bring out the connotation of the Great Wall. So there are three sections of the Great Wall, Badaling, Mutianyu and Jingshanling. And the one thing about Audley is that we always tend to visit the Jingshanling area. It's further away, which means it's a lot more remote, there's less crowds there and it just makes for a far better experience. Machu Picchu is one of the most recognisable travel icons in the world. There are many different ways to get to Machu Picchu, including the train or walking the Inca Trail. One of our favourite ways of doing it is walking via the mountain lodges of Peru. This adds a bit of luxury because you don't have to camp and it's a beautiful way of seeing the scenery. The Temples of Angkor is a must visit for any person coming to Cambodia um, purely because it's such a special place, there's nowhere else like it in the world. Um, the temples are all absolutely magnificent and each have a really different architecture. The northern circuit of Tanzania is amazing. It's got the highest density of animals anywhere in Africa. Um, this is partly due to the Serengeti but also Ngorogoro Crater. It has its own ecosystem um, and it is just phenomenal from a geological perspective but also from an animal perspective. The Great Barrier Reef is a must on everybody's wish list when you visit Australia. There are so many ways of seeing the reef. Um, one of my favourites is actually um, a secluded island um, called Hagglestone Island and it's a bit of a Robinson Crusoe adventure. So there's no TV, there's no Wi-Fi, you just you go there, you can do fishing off the land, you can actually snorkel straight onto the Great Barrier Reef as well, which makes it absolutely perfect for anyone who wants to get away. For me, although the Taj Mahal is um, particularly famous and incredible, uh, definitely an immissable site in India, um, the Golden Temple offers something completely different. It's a different religion, it's a different part of India and it's a truly spectacular site. In the daytime you can visit the kitchens um, which feed 40,000 pilgrims every day um, and the kitchens are run completely by volunteers which is fantastic. Galapagos is an absolute must for wildlife lovers, there's nowhere else like it in the world. There are many endemic species to the Galapagos and um, because they're so fearless you can get right up close to them. The best way of seeing the islands is on a cruise. Um, you get to some of the further reaching islands and you just get so much more variety than you do staying in a hotel and doing excursions from there. Uh, Malaysian Borneo should definitely be on every traveller's checklist. Um, it's one of the only places in the entire world that you can see orangutans in the wild. We would definitely recommend seeing them in a sanctuary environment. Uh, there are two main sanctuaries in Borneo. There's one in the south, in Semengo, and one in the north. Um, however, we would also recommend getting off the beaten track, going off grid for a few days, and possibly seeing them in the Danan Valley, Kinabatangan River, and maybe the Tabin Wildlife Reserve. Bird Island is the ultimate beach escape in my opinion. It's um, secluded, private island, pristine, untouched white beaches. Um, it really is um, a beautiful destination to visit. Bird Island is excellent for bird enthusiasts, hence its name. Um, there's no natural predators on the island, which means um, taking photographs of these beautiful birds so you can get it really up close um, and you're not speaking and getting excellent shots. Mm -hmm.